the solving library is celebrating Spanish Heritage Month, creating paper mula. Mulas are generally made out of fabric by Latina women in the San Blas Islands of Panama. Mulas are made using geometric designs animals or scenes from everyday life. We will be making a simpler version of this paper. Each kit comes with a set of instructions, animal outlines that you can use to cut out some of your stencils, or if you wish to make your own, grab a blank piece of paper and draw what animal you would like. Different pieces of colored paper. Black paper or black construction paper. You will need to have a pair of scissors. Please remember little ones to always have access to an adult for help. A pencil to make your tracing. A glue stick or Elmo scale to glue down your paper. We provided different animals that you can use to cut, cut out as a stencil. I'm going to start with this little dog. Don't worry about looking at the dog properly. This is just going to be a stencil for him. you're finished, keep any colored piece of paper and trace your stencil onto it. Once it's in place, you're going to cut it out as close to the line as you trace. Remember, you don't want poor little ones to always ask an adult for help. Finish cutting, put your animal outlines and your grid on a thick piece of colored paper. Remember that you have to leave enough room for you to cut out extra border. Take your pencil and create a slightly larger border around it. Remember any scraps of paper you have to save them for later. Let's finish cutting the rest of the border. Once you're done, you'll notice this whole 2D effect. Now, we're going to glue this, these two pieces together and put it on the flat sheet of paper. Each kit includes extra scraps pieces of paper and the rest of the paper you can use to decorate the black empty space around your animal. You can create a layered effect by choosing three or two colors and creating one slightly bigger than the other, as I'm doing here with green, black, and pink. Experiment with different colors and shapes. You can glue smaller pieces onto another piece of paper and then cut around it, or pre-cut all your pieces and then see which ones are smaller and layer them one on top of the other. To decorate the outside of your animal, try different geometric designs as a circle, a triangle, or a square. 
I suggest moving around your different pieces and then when you're when you like how it looks then finally gluing them down Here's my piece almost done. You can see the same layered effect I did inside the animal I did on the outside with rectangles and circles. If you see any empty space that you like to cover up, go ahead and cut out some more pieces using your scrap pieces of paper. We would love to see pictures of your finished mulas, so send it to our email address of solvinglibrary at cityofgoleta.org. Thank you for joining.